Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 of the 8th season here in the career mode RTG with 80... No, it's a lie. With 24 points available from 8 Premier League games, we are 13 points clear of both Manchester City and Chelsea. We have Wolves to start us off, then both quarter-final Champions League ties against Manchester United, sandwiching our game at home against Brighton. My plan today is to play both Manchester United uh, quarter-finals in the Champions League, and I expect the semi-finals to be drawn uh, on the 21st and 28th, or one week there, and then into the next month. So what I'm going to do is hopefully get myself through in the Champions League quarter-finals, and then in the next episode, we'll have all of the semi-finals. So I'm going to simulate Wolves. I'll simulate Brighton. If I get knocked out by Man United, then I'll obviously play City in today's episode. But uh, I, I don't think that's going to happen. We've been amazing against United so many times already this season. Uh, yeah, we're quite happy to sim with that side. They're not in good form, actually, Wolves. So this might be... A straightforward enough victory for us. Although Adam Lundman gets booked within 60 seconds. Ziegler, though, gives us a lead within 12 minutes rather than seconds. Pleased with that. Ante Rebic equalises for Wolves, so perhaps it's not going to be as straightforward as we hoped. No, Herbert Ziegler has uh, a bit between his teeth and wants to take this game to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Garcia, though, equalises. And, oh, Rafael Lau gives us a 3-2 lead. What a game. Almost want to be a spectator in the stand for that one. We get a 3-2 win at Molyneux. That was an incredible game of football. Right, Manchester United in the Champions League quarterfinals coming up. It's the fifth time. Actually, I don't know whether we've got to play them once more before the end of the season. No, we don't. This will be the fifth time. No, sixth time we've played Manchester United so far this season. Twice in the Carabao Cup. Twice in the FA Cup. Sorry, twice in the Carabao Cup. Twice in the Champions League, twice in the league, and once in the FA Cup in yesterday's episode. So, the sixth and seventh games of the season against Manchester United coming up next. Pretty remarkable, to be fair. We have been very, very good against them every single time. Now, even though we're playing in England, of course, the away goals rule will still count. Again, just the one change being made to their starting lineup. Martial. He's fit again. He wasn't for the game yesterday. So that might make a change to the way that they play. I might make a change myself here and put Dennis Adebola on the right. And I'm tempted to take Morelos out and I will for Mason Mount. And we'll throw Gerzic up top for Catrone. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with that starting lineup. Let's go and see if we can get ourselves a great first leg lead to then subsequently finish the job off in leg number two. Some have been played in around the corner. Decent delivery, but Dallo will head that away. Stand well. Torreira. Because it's made himself available. And Dennis Adebola could send Rafael Leal away. What a ball. Gerzic is arriving in support. And I might use him here. The Swede in the box. And on the score sheet. Gives us a 1-0 lead in the 11th minute. And of course, an away goal as well. We didn't need them against Monaco. But we did get them. And hopefully... This time we won't need them as well, but we're certainly getting them. Oh, uh, in there to Anthony Martial. Runners off him. Nice little back heel, actually. Oh, uh, again. Dinked out wide here to Sam Maximin. Decent ball in. And Mason Mount actually back there to head that away. Pace from Gerzic. Good footwork too. Spread that out wide there to Dennis Alabola. Give that to Torreira. He's been playing really well. So Ah, uh, never mind. I take that back. We've been playing okay so far. Little mistake there. Intercepted by Dallo, but such a heavy touch. Looks like his foot was made of concrete there. Memphis across to Varela. Could shoot. Forced himself wide here. Victor Varela still with him. And Victor Varela comes out on top. What a defender. Honestly, so good. Our scout future star from season one. Can we make a carbon copy of goal number one? No, because Gerzic isn't necessarily in the best of positions. And Leal falls over there. Brilliant. Oh, and he's hurt as well. Are you going to have to come off or are you getting back to your feet? It looks like he's going to be able to get back to his feet and continue forward. Or continue on. No, he's still down by the looks of things, actually. Lookman 
Cross there to Mason Mount, then out wide. Now Leal gets back involved. Down the line there to Dennis Adebayo. Look, Erzic is there. I see Mason Mount stood in support. Adamo Lookman at your feet and look to bend it. Can't. Mount. Which way are we going to go? Leal's there. Still carrying that knock to Mason Mount. Oh, good footwork. Mm, shot was well hit, but straight the keeper. Very lucky there. Mason Mount cross here to Torreira. Here's Leal. He's on his bike, Dennis Adebola. And he's played in well. The cross is actually very good. Oh, Adamola Lookman. That was a glorious opportunity for a stunning Champions League quality goal. Unfortunately, it was a conference level finish. It was awful. Leal running through Dennis Adebola. Got a five star weak foot, I'm pretty sure, Dennis Adebola. So it doesn't matter that he's on the right hand side. I'm almost certain he's got a five star. Oh, well done, Ches. I'm almost certain he's got a five star weak foot. Dennis had a bowler. Indeed he does. So he can cross with his right foot without any issue whatsoever. A five-star weak foot means it's just as good, 100% as good as his first uh, first choice of foot. A, he's Santi Cazorla-esque. Adam O'Lookman is really struggling for stamina here at the minute. So I might take him off at half-time and uh, bring Suarez Garcia on the right to then move Adebola back to the left. It's only a narrow scoreline at the moment. Last two times we played Man United were a 5-1 win and a 3-1 win. They're keeping me in check this time around and doing well. Hopefully, we can pull away slightly more in the second half. Suarez Garcia brings it down. He's on his run there, Rafael Leao. Now, has he got the strength to hold off the defender? Doesn't need to if the defender just falls on the floor. Leao, oh, well, this should be hopefully a simple second. Oh, what a save, David De Gea. He might be 35, but he's turning into the Spanish Buffon here. Despite the fact he's getting older, he's still just as good as he ever was. Unfortunately, Lucas Torreira making a mistake there. Oh, wow, what a save. That was ridiculous. I was certain when I squared that back to Gerzic that he was going to get his and our second of the game. Need a bit more strength there, Mr. San Maximin. That was really poor from you. And that's really nicely played around the corner. Teo Hernandez in the box. Nathan Ake does well. We've got Brighton coming up next in the league. But the next game we play will be... Ah, oh, that was a poor throw. Next game we play will be the second leg against Manchester United. Chong has come on for them with half an hour to go. Again, poor from Torreira. Might be selling him in pre-season next year. Lovely little one-two as Suarez Garcia. Can he score in the Champions League? No. Can Leao? No. Can Gerzic? No. Corner for United. Torgan Hazard has just come on and will take it, replacing Anthony Martial. Excuse me, Paul Lopez. Please don't do that. Oh, what an opportunity for Manchester United to get an equaliser. Dallo with the throw. As far as I see it into Torreira. Tom Davis has come off the bench here for Mason Mount. Just to add a little bit more solidity, hopefully, to my midfield. Leal turns well and finds Gerzic. A lot of bodies in this central area, but Lucas Torreira doesn't care. De Gea leaping away. Could he have made that slightly more comfortable? Not sure. He was travelling quite some. Oh, good header by Retzos to get rid of that. We win that foot race. Perella does brilliantly against Memphis Depay. Tom Davies inside to Lucas Torreira. Again! Oh! De Gea certainly holds on this time. Top goalkeeping from him in this game. Big hoof. Big head. Adebola. Gerzic. Forward there to Leal. Out to Suarez Garcia. I've got runners all around me. We use Tom Davies first, then go to Rafael Leal. Maybe back to Tom Davies. And to Gerzic for his second and another away goal! What a finish! That might just have finished Man United off. If it's just 1-0, then I'd fancy them to come back at it. But that blow... A second goal in stoppage time. A second away goal to destroy their confidence. The fans have head in hands. The players absolutely distraught. That goal might be enough to send us through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Robin Gerzic came in for not necessarily an underperforming Catrone in this game. United disappointing again against us. Barcelona also win 2-0 away from home against Juventus. What is going to happen in the next Premier League game, though? We still have a 13-point lead at the top of the table. And we've Brighton at home to play next. Perella up to 86 rated. Our captain, our scout future star from season number one. And still growing strong. 
Right, Gerzic and Adebola will get the chance to play again here at home against Brighton to send us one step closer to the Premier League title. They've lost to both halves of North London in the last three games, Brighton, and they might be losing to a side a little bit further north from London. In Cambridge here, Dennis Adebola makes it 1-0 in the eighth minute, and as we approach half-time, we make it... We don't make it anything. They make it 1-1. Andrea Bellotti... On the hour mark, it's still 1-1. Lads, if you don't mind. Please? No! Cambridge 1, Brighton 2. You didn't see that coming. I certainly didn't. Even with that rotated side, which should certainly have still been strong enough to beat Brighton and Hove Albion. That's very disappointing. Dennis Elabola is dead after that last game so we won't be playing him in this next one it's Manchester United at home again we shall just make sure that oh wrong controller just make sure that their lineup is as it should be they can play in the third kit actually uh mine is decent because it won't be able to start because layout will be uh highest stamina see and he came off the bench yeah there you go because it's dead okay and I don't think that uh, again Alex Tellers for Mitchell. Why it just... I don't know. I don't know why Alex Tellers isn't in there. Right then. Here we go again. It's Manchester United for the 7,000 billionth time this season. Let's beat them again, shall we? Out there to Diogo Dallo. Forward to Torreira again. And the corner to Leao. Trone. I see the run from the midfield. Oh, what an interception from Nathan Ake. Unbelievable. I thought Morelos was in there to... Score us a third goal. Not that that really changes much as far as... Oh, lovely turns. Man United are concerned. Good save, David De Gea. If they score two, then they draw level. And it's extra time. If we score one and they score three, so we're level on aggregate again, they go through and away goals. So to go through in 90 minutes, they need to score three, even if we stay at 2-0 up, or even if we go to 3-0 up. So United know that they need three goals to win the game inside 90 minutes. Two would be enough to take it to extra time if we don't score. But I think us not scoring is probably one of the most unlikely things that you could have predicted about this game. We have a history this season of scoring a number of goals against Manchester United. So this would be 0-0 now, won't it? Morelles, across to Torreira. Lucas Torreira to Catrone, back there to Torreira. Out wide to Diogo Dallo. In there to Liao. It's a really nice move, this. And Adamo Lutman, he's at the back post. Oh, and he was so close to being found. Ziegler does brilliantly. Dallo, first time cross. Good delivery. Morelles, under the influence of the AI, went for an overhead kick and probably gave whoever was stood next to him a rather large headache in the process, to be fair. Adam Ola Lutman, I see Ziegler's arrived at the right time. Nathan Ake has also done the same. But he can't do it twice. As we mentioned, that doesn't really change much for Manchester United as far as they were concerned, other than they will now have to do it inside 90 minutes. We now can no longer go to extra time. Forward there to Alwa, Memphis again. That's good football for Manchester United. Oh, it's a nice turn from San Maximin as well, but Perella is there. I would have liked to have given Gerzic the start in this one, as he did so well in the first leg. And to be fair, if I thought about it in hindsight, I could have played Catrone against um, against Brighton. And then Gerzic could have had the start here. Oh, what a save from David De Gea. But unfortunately, uh, I didn't use my brain. And that happens more often than... I might like to admit, to be completely honest, although I do have the excuse that half the time it's because the ME is making my brain not work properly. We squeeze that through the gap there to Catrone, and Leao will look for him again. Out of his feet. Oh. Perhaps that's why Patrick Catrone is in the starting lineup. Gorgeous goal! Now United need four. Tell us with the throw. Our one knocks it down there to Tell us again. Here's Anthony Martial. Out to Alex Tell us. Good delivery in. Oh, Torreira, that's poor. Back there to Maya and to Alwar. Spins really well. Marshall in the middle and away by Teo Hernandez. 
this might be one of the more straightforward games against Manchester United, he says, on the first half's evidence. You can see again, they just don't create anything. They created one chance in the entirety of the first leg, and so far in the first half of this second, not a single shot on goal. Manchester United just don't create chances, and that's their downfall. San Maximin to Memphis. San Maximin played in again, but Teo Hernandez does brilliantly. Not a defender I wanted to pass to, but still we work it away nicely. Ah, he says, as Torreira gives the ball away. That was nice by Maya. Absolutely brilliant to turn away from me. Memphis to Pai. Oh, just stood there. Pirella takes it away from him. Now it's ended up. It's, ah, San Maximin's legs and legs, feet. <laughs> Thankfully, he hurled with his legs and got away from the challenge of the defender. Otherwise, I might be got myself a... A cheeky yellow or red card there. Lovely ball through to Rafael Leão. We're in again. Catroni is with me. Lookman again is at the back post. And I should have crossed that earlier. That's my fault. 2-0 with 10 minutes gone in the second half. 4-0 on aggregate. Maya. Squeezes it through to Awa. Can't get to him. Give me the ball back. No, oh, that's a pen. Oh, my word. How on earth have I gotten away with that? That's a certain penalty. How was... How has the referee missed that? I've destroyed Memphis. Is it Memphis Depay or is it Alwa? That's a penalty. Sorry. That is quite clearly a penalty. Referee, you have not done yourself any favours whatsoever there. Oh, and then Memphis hits the post. Barella across there to Martial. They've created a goal-scoring opportunity. Unfortunately, it hasn't gone in for them. Here's Pereira. Out to Chong. Cross could come in here. Does decent. And there, Militao away. Lookman nicely around the corner to play out. Out wide there to Ziegler. Really nicely done. I've got plenty of players with me. Catrone is one of them. Can he get away from Nathan Ake? He's got the pace. And I thought he had the finishing ability as well. But no. Reyla out wide to Anthony Martial. Give it themselves a consolation goal, perhaps Manchester United. Perhaps. Maybe. Hit the post, so fair play to them for doing that. But that's literally all they've done in both legs, is hit the post once. Gerzic played in and around the corner there to Ziegler, who will look for Gerzic again. Try and knock it on, get away from the defender. And then turn his side. Cool. How's that for a, a turn? Adamo Lookman. Catrone. Oh, I'm trying to pull the trigger. I was half waiting for the referee to give me a penalty there for a perfect tackle when he didn't give one for an awful tackle at the other end. 2-0 win in both home and away legs against Manchester United. Barcelona are through as well after drawing 1-1 with Juventus after their 2-1 win in the first leg. Uh, Atleti and Valencia yet to play their second leg as are Real Madrid and Juventus. Not yet sure who will have in the semi-finals. We are 10 points clear with six games to go. I will be playing all semi-final games in the next episode tomorrow. I'll be honest, the league is so straightforward for us now. I'm probably not going to play any more other than the game where we lift the trophy. And in that game, I'd very much like to play Dimitar Mitov in goal and uh, Bradley Halliday as well, so that they're both involved right from the off in the trophy lifting ceremony. In fact, I may even make Mitov captain so that he can lift it, or Bradley Halliday. Although, it might be slightly harsh on Perella. Tottenham at home next. We can go 13 points. God, Tottenham actually in a great run of formula. Three straight victories. They're pushing for top four, I think. Decent starting lineup as well. Morales though gives us a 1-0 lead. He does that a lot in these simulated games, Javier Morales. Harry Kane does that a lot in any game whenever he's playing. And it's 1-1 as we push into the second half. Suarez Garcia on off the bench. And then Tottenham go 2-1 up. Then Leao equalizes. Good. Good. What's next? A winner for Cambridge, please. Right. Or not. Or not. It's a draw. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Semi-finals of the FA Cup next against Manchester City. I will play that in the next episode. We will have the semis. Oh, it's Barcelona. Oh, it's Barcelona. We'll have the semi-final of the FA Cup and the semi-finals of the Champions League 
against Barcelona in the next episode as we are in as we head into May for 2026 and then the episode after that hopefully we'll have both the FA Cup final and the Champions League final in it if it doesn't then it's going to be a bit of a damp squib to the end of the season although we will st still have the opportunity of course to lift the Premier League trophy so that's still something to look forward to but hopefully it'll be a treble I very much would like it to be a treble. I do you actually want to just quickly check the league table? Cameron Lee goes up to 83 rated as Mancini goes up to 82. I do want to check the league table to see what the situation is there. Oh, we're frozen on me there. Uh, right, we were 10 points clear. With that draw, we're 11 points clear. But Chelsea could close it to 8 points with 15 still available. So it's not completely sewn up. But it's still looking very, very, very likely. I will see you in the next episode for three very important semi-final games in two different cup competitions. Drop the video one like and I'll see you next time.